Well, here we are. Hey, this is an official an Africa report. This one, including Madagascar over here. Like that. Hey, Nada. Oh, go on with The doggy. Belongs to my head. Uh, I keep on forgetting. Like, my hands are wet. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, this is one of these. This is more plastic. Let's see what happens with this. There we go. Hey! It works! Black cherry juice. <laughs> what does it say? It's organic? Whatever. Just black cherry. Let me see. What's the, uh, what was the ingredients thing here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All natural ingredients, no preservatives, blah, 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 blah. natural selection, blah, 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 no GMO, blah, blah, blah. I don't even see it with the oh, ingredients. Juice from ripe, whole black cherries. That's it. Juice from, <laughs> you say? Okay. Now you say, well, well brother, why are you drinking the black cherry juice? Well, first of all, I like it. Next thing is that I like everything black. <laughs> and so if I could put some, if I could put some, you know, some liquid black, black cherry, pure, undiluted, That's what I do. Okay, well, let me take this. Thing off. Don't worry about this. Sometimes I don't actually like to wear this. I don't worry about it. Put it right there. Stay there. Here's the thing. Um, I was, um, how do you say? I was uh, um, watching uh, uh, YouTube, you know, Juice Malema, you know, the, the EFF, head of EFF, uh, Economic Freedom Fighters down there in South Africa. He was giving a speech. He had a I Can't Breathe t-shirt on. He's giving a speech. Now, you you know, you can look up Julius Malema. Extra, inter, interesting and extraordinary uh, cat. Right? Anyway, so he made this speech. And what he said, basically, he says, one country like, well, he says, he says Swaziland, but they, they changed the name. He says, he's um, or something like that. Uh, he said, Botswana, you know, they're, they're, oh, they're just a small country. They can't compete with USA or these other things like that. He said, but Africa, we're all Africans. Unite Africa under one thought, under whatever, you know, what one thought. But, you know, you know what I'm talking about. We have 50, we have 50 U.S. states, right? It's like 55, they say, I don't know, somewhere between 55, 54 African countries. So if you, every country was like, in other words, every country is a sovereign country, but they're under... But they're all, you know, United States is, is we have, each state is a, it's almost like a sovereign. So, well, sovereign also means money. <laughs> and you understand what I'm saying. So it's no big thing. Now, I remember I've been, like I've been involved with stuff <laughs> for a long time. Um, and uh, it, it always struck me when we first said in the beginning, everybody would say, well, Africa is not, Africa is not a country, it's a state. And I'm going to say, everybody keeps on saying that. Everybody keeps on saying Africa is the country. I remember there was a, a song by Time where they, they were naming out all, all the countries. And, you know, the, you know, the, the, that, no, they were naming out all the countries, like, uh, you know, the, the regular countries. And then they said Africa, like Africa was one of the countries. And I'm going to say, why fight it? Why can't Africa be one country? And Jews Malemba uh, brought that thing about. And he's really talking about, look. I'll, I'll link the speech so you, you can you can you can see it there. Okay. So here's the thing that's important to me. I keep on saying because of all the all the political struggle and everything like that, my 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 being is inculc inculcated with you know uh, uh, black nationalism struggle, uh, pan Africanism, all the rest of that stuff, and that's true. Whatever whatever it was. Um, but then, ADOS came about. You know ADOS? Yeah, right there. ADOS reality. See? Oh, I got Fannie Lou Hamer right there. Oh, you gotta see Fannie. Fannie Lou Hamer in the struggle. Um, my wife made this hat. That makes this an African hat because she's she's an African and she's an African designer, right? So for my thing. My head, my political head right now, at this, at, well, for the last two years, has embraced ADOS. Okay? And that's the trick, because everybody I talk, they want to, 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 they
Oh yeah, no, we're not in Africa right now. No, we're in Virginia. I'm sort of stuck here because the country. <laughs> I can't explain it, but the country closed down, so I'm sort of in in the states. So right now, my my sister's house. I gotta go to uh, uh where I'm based at my brother's house uh, in Harlem, and then my other brother in St. Louis. I'm going to them. Blah blah blah. Don't worry about that part. So here's the thing. So I'm thinking, yes, <laughs> yes, and it has nothing to do with us. And if, if Jews Malema and his, you know, there's a lot of people there, you know, there's uh, PLO and Lamoon, but there's a lot of great Africans speaking out, you know, you should check them out. But if 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 they can actually get it, you know, and get all these, they have the same problems we have in terms, in terms of political leaders, these toadies, they, they, they're so, they're so uh, into the mindset of the European, the colonialists, and we're so in the mindset of the, you know, white, supreme, well, I don't get it, no, no, we are, we're changing right now. That, unless, you see, but the trick is, them to do that thing, ADOS does our thing, and I, I'm, I'm not going to criticize it right now. I have to do that another time. But all I'm saying, that's what needs to be done. That's what needs. To, oh, I'm sorry. What's what needs to be done is being done. What needs to be done is being done. I just ordered a book from online. Uh, uh, Bitcoin and Black America. Yeah, like that. By uh, I have to get I forget the guy's name. I just saw him on, on Kai's report. Anyway, I I didn't I actually didn't know about the book. I knew about the Kai before, but I didn't know about the book. Anyway, so it should be coming and announced. It'll, it'll reach me in New York, and then I'll, I'll, I'll deal with it. Uh, but I remember, well, let me say this. I, I'm not a, let me put it, years ago, it was 2015 or something, whatever it is, we knew about Bitcoin, and I had a research, I have a research group in Dimbaza in, in South Africa, right? And uh, now I'll get away from there, you're going to knock it off. Uh, and so what happened is uh, because the kids there, they want to know about it. And as a whatever, I said, okay. So I, we went through the thing and we got wallets. I got all Bitcoin wallets. In fact, when you see my posting, see that Dan always have the Bitcoin contribution. And then you'll see my wallet. And then and if you have a, if you go to like the sus, other things, with African things, where you're talking to an African person, like Mr. Mr. Foley, then under his, under the thing when I post him, then that, right, that has their Bitcoin wallet. What I was saying back then is just, Look, you don't have to believe in Bitcoin or nothing like that, but just get the wallet in case. See? See how that works? And it was a lot of resistance, whatever have you. But now, because of the uprisings, because of the protests, people, are, the black people say, yeah, what is it? How could we do this? Because if we stay under this fiat system, we're still slaves. Even if they give us reparations, we're still, it's still not going to be good. So Bitcoin is one of the things I personally Okay, I said it before. Here we go. I personally, reparations. Okay, here's the number. You're going to love this. I've said this before. I'm going to love this. $63 trillion. I'm sorry. $63 trillion. That's it. That's it. $63 trillion. So, wait, come up with that number. What's, what's the proof? How you reset? You all come up with, you all just, I pulled it out of the air. <laughs> Like everybody, like all these other people. Oh yeah, a conversation. Say, oh no, we figured this out. How could you quantify things like intellectual product? No, 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 no. So the 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 the, the United States government owes us sixty three trillion, right? But in that in that thing, there's a loose thing in there. But that sixty trillion. That's I'm sorry, not just the government, but the whole people. Remember, the United States didn't start from seventeen seventy six. So be, be, what's happened between sixteen, you know, sixteen nineteen and seventeen seventy six, dude? You got you got the Africans, you know, uh, you know, uh, giving give, <laughs> giving other Africans to European, whatever, you know. So so there's a lot of people in there. There's a ship lines and there's insurance companies and the Africans, whatever. So here's how the sixty three trillion breaks down. Twenty one trillion, something. Like Twenty one trillion is in. Uh, rare earth, precious metals, you know, like gold, you know, silver, whatever, platinum, black box, or whatever. And that is where the, those Africans that helped, they, they didn't, maybe they did know, that helped in that slave trade, right? Well, guess what? They have, they're in charge of that 20, that 21 trillion of that six, uh, the 63 trillion, that's what they'll pay to ADOS, American descendants of slavery, right? Another, right, here we go. 21 trillion would be in Bitcoin or or cryptocurrency. And that would come from, I don't know. You'll figure that out. I just thought that, throw that out there. Okay, so that's two different sources. The third one, 21 trillion in US fiat money, right? 
that could be paid by them. You know, and you take a portion of that to do all the research. So I'm saying that 21 trillion comes from the U.S. The U.S. government is, is responsible for, for paying that debt due. 21 trillion is Bitcoin. Of, you can say the world is whatever you want to say, and this goes to that. Then you have 21 trillion flowing from the Africans. Now, what happens when you have that stuff? Then you can sort of, how do you say? No, you can't sort of. We can. We will, look. If you if you if you have money, if you have uh, you have uh, uh, currency or whatever you want to call it, then people tend to leave you alone. You know. Okay, we can figure all this stuff out. But I just wanted to come to you with this an African report from uh, from the backyard. With me, T, from the Patterson's Take the Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect in these unbelievable evolutionary times. It's a quick evolution. Evolution is going...